Okay, for 9A, we are given a revenue and a cost equation, and they're saying that uh, X represents the number of, of watches here. So it's the first thing asked for, find, write the profit function P as a function of uh, X. Okay, so we have to know a definition in order to do profit. So first of all, profit is equal to revenue minus the cost. And if I give a problem similar to this on a test, I'll probably actually give you the formula for profit so you don't have to memorize that one, but that's the one you want to use here. So profit equals revenue minus cost. Based on what we have here, that means that I'm going to do P of X is equal to R of X minus C of X. Okay, so that would, that's what it would mean algebraically here. Now I have both of these formulas that's given to me, so I can just go ahead and subtract those. So for profit, I'm going to do revenue 75x minus 0.2x squared. I'm going to subtract the cost. Now, when you subtract that, make sure you put that in parentheses because we are subtracting the entire equation. So make sure you put that in there. Okay, so I'm subtracting the whole thing here. I want to now combine like terms together. Okay, so I'm going to do 75x minus 0.2x squared, but making sure that I first distribute the negative sign to each one, so that this distributes and I get this change in sign here. That's why it's important to actually put parentheses around it, because it reminds you to multiply through with the negative. So now by doing that, we can add the like terms uh, together. So 75, we're going to subtract these, 75 minus 33, uh, we get a, a 42x. Let's actually first start with the highest power. Let's put negative 0.2x squared first, uh, and then I'll have the plus 42x and then plus 1750. So I've, I've simplified it down and I get this, and so this formula right here would be the answer for the first part per i. Okay, so now let's take a look at the second one. It says how many watches must be sold in order to maximize the profit? Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna keep that formula because we're gonna come back to it. So we'll use that one. And okay, so how many for two? How many watches must be sold to maximize the profit? Okay, so that's what it what it's asking for. Now the X represents the number of watches uh, that are sold here, and I have this formula that I did before uh, in part I. Because I have a quadratic formula, I now want to use the negative b over 2a formula, the vertex formula, and that's going to give me the value for x. That's all I have to do for part two is just do the vertex formula because that will allow me to solve for x. In this case, x is as rich as the watches, and it's, that's what it's asking me for. From the formula I have down here, your a is negative 0.2 and your b is going to be 42. So I get negative b, negative 42 over 2 times negative 0.2. Okay. Now, uh, if you put this into the calculator and worked it out, you get 105. Now, if you did the same operation on your calculator and you did not get 105 and you're wondering why you didn't get the correct answer, here's the reason why. If you're going to put all this in your calculator at once, you want to make sure that you put parentheses around the whole entire bottom like I did here on the test. So when you put that into a calculator, you can do you do negative 42 slash, you put a parenthesis, you do 2 times negative 0.2 and close that parenthesis. If you don't put parentheses around it, you're going to get the wrong answer because the calculator doesn't is not smart enough to know that you meant to divide by that whole thing. It'll just divide by the first number and multiply the whole result by negative 0.2. So that's something to keep in mind when you do these kind of problems. Make sure you do it correctly uh, in your calculator. So the correct answer should be 105 uh, for that one. Now the third part here uh, is going to be, so now you have that answer. Let's do number three up here. Number three uh, says what, what is the maximum profit? Okay, so what is the maximum profit? 
All right, now we're still gonna use this formula here, and we're gonna use the fact of what we use in part two. Part two, we found that uh, the X was equal to 105 watches. So now we're gonna take 105 and put it into the profit formula, and that's gonna give us the answer they're looking for for part three. So I wanna find P of 105. So I'm going to do negative 0.2 times 105 squared plus 42 times 105 plus 1750. So if I do that, that's going to give me my answer for what's the maximum profit. So what is the maximum profit? When I work all that out on my calculator, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the answer. You can check that on your own. Uh, you should get uh, 39.55. Okay, so that's how much profit we're going to make off of this. According to that model, uh, we get 39.55. So part two, we had to use the vertex formula, and that was all we had to do because it just asked for how many watches must be sold to maximize the profit. And then part three, we had to actually plug it back into the original formula to get the answer.